Introducing Super Delusion, a Fuse plugin to create psychedelic and trippy visuals inside DaVinci Resolve. We have imported a footage in the Fusion page, let's add the Fuse plugin Super Delusion, you can open the node menu and search for it. Download link is given in description. Click on add button to spawn the node. You can see the new plugin node here. You can connect it with the main footage like this. The effect is shown in the screen once you connect the node. On the right side inspector window, you can view the controls of the Super Delusion plugin. There are currently four modes in this plugin. I will show you all the four modes one by one. The first one is the warp mode which creates this type of blurry distortion effect. You can change the distortion strength and the animation speed. There is also a flicker effect option here which you can add if you wish. You can also use this effect to animate text. In the merge node, you can change the apply mode to get some more variations. The next mode we have is called the melt mode which creates a melting diffusion effect like this. You can see the before and after results. There is threshold slider for adjusting the distortion, and the blend slider to change the effect amount. Use the alpha slider if you have a transparent background. You can see how cool this diffusion effect looks. The next mode is the rainbow mode which adds psychedelic and colorful effect in the video. This is basically hue shifts with some diffusion flow. The blend slider allows you to change the diffusion amount. There is option to change the hue settings, like offset, and threshold. The speed slider changes the angular speed of the diffusion. The alpha slider is for transparent footages. This mode can replicate those colorful psychedelic visuals. The next mode we have is the smoke mode, it is very experimental and creates heavy diffusion patterns like this. If you think the brightness is too high, you can decrease the feedback slider value here. There are more controls you can play with. There is a blur slider to adjust the relative blur. The alpha slider is also there for transparent backgrounds. The warp slider adds some random noise patterns. But the clarity slider is something which is the most fascinating. Decreasing the clarity value will give you random patterns in the scene like this. This is some kind of pure trippy visuals. So that's all in the plugin version 1. There is also the reload button and clear cache button which you can press when you want to reset the buffers. So, thanks for supporting, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Like and share the video for more DaVinci Resolve plugins and tutorials.